Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. Dutch designer Dan Roosgaard has revealed his idea of an anti-smog bike that sucks in polluted air and releases purified air around the cyclist. This announcement is part of his studio's Smog Free project, which was created three years ago after Roosgaard saw the extreme levels of air pollution outside his Beijing apartment windows. In theory, these bikes would include a device that can pull in ambient air and run it through positive ionization filters to remove particulate matter, resulting in clean air blowing in the cyclist's faces. More than 1.6 million people die every year in China from breathing toxic air. Ruskard hopes that these smog-free bikes will be adopted by China's increasingly popular bike share programs. The Global Seed Vault, a stronghold that protects the world's seeds, has flooded after warmer winter temperatures caused by climate change sent water gushing into the entrance tunnel. The vault is buried in a mountain on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen and contains almost a million packets of seeds, each a variety of an important food crop designed to ensure humanity's food supply forever. However, increasing temperatures in the Arctic have led to melting and heavy rain, and although the flooding did not reach the seeds, the breach has questioned the ability of the vault to survive if there is a larger catastrophe. Chlorpyrifos is a widely used pesticide in U.S. agriculture, but growing evidence of its harmful impact upon human health led the EPA to conclude that the pesticide was not safe for any use. However, a subsequent ban of the chemical was rejected under the new Trump administration, with Scott Pruitt saying he denied the ban to provide, quote, regulatory certainty to the thousands of American farms that rely on chlorpyrifos. However, chlorpyrifos was blamed for causing sickness to nearly 50 farm workers who were exposed to the chemical in California. In addition, the pesticide has been linked to developmental problems in children, such as lower birth weight, reduced IQ, and attention disorders. In a recent study published in Current Biology, parts of Antarctica are starting to see more greenery as temperatures rise, as evidenced by a steady growth of moss in the continent over the last 50 years. Lead author Matt Amesbury, a researcher at the University of Exeter, said the continued retreat of glaciers will make the Antarctic Peninsula a much greener place in the future. Plant life only exists on about 0.3% of Antarctica, but researchers found that that is likely to change as the region warms and more heat is absorbed bringing an ecosystem shift towards one similar to that in the Arctic. President Trump is expected to face pressure from European Union leaders at the G7 summit in Italy next week to keep the U.S. in the Paris Climate Treaty. Heads of major energy companies also agree. Ben Van Burden, the CEO of Shell, told NPR's Ari Shapiro that the U.S. should stay in the climate agreement, saying, quote, We believe climate change is real. We believe that the world needs to go through an energy transition to prevent a very significant rise in global temperatures, and we need to be part of that solution in making it happen. ExxonMobil, Chevron, and BP have also pledged their support for the Paris Climate Agreement. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Thank you.